Rob from Hopsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. Big thanks to beersfromitaly.com for sending over the beer that I'm going to be reviewing today. If, you, if you're interested in checking out some of the most interesting craft beers from um, the burgeoning Italian craft beer movement, get over there to beersfromitaly.com. Check out uh, breweries such as Birra del Borgo, Balladine, Birraficio Italiano, to name a few. So we're having a new company, so get over there, check them out. And this beer that they sent me, what I'm going to be looking at today, is called Cotagiana from Birra del Borgo. It's a 5% ABV beer. Uh, rate beer, call it a Saison. Uh, an Italian friend of mine called it a Golden Ale. So I'll see what it's like when I'm getting the glass. So I've got my um, Teku glass. Yeah, it says Brudo on it, but as far as I'm aware, it was uh, the Teku te tasting glass was um, uh, kind of developed by a couple of Italian guys. Is it Tio Met and Musso from um, Balladine? I think he's one of the people who are responsible for the creation of this glass. One of my favourites. Anyway, just a little, <laughs> little snippet of information, despite that. Love these little bottles, and these are the kind of smaller size bottles. They are, um, when I first uh, found kind of uh, Italian craft beers, it was all, they were always in the 750s, so essentially that, but like massive. But they're really cute, really nicely kind of done bottles. Beer del Borgo, an interesting brewery. Um, a number of years ago, um, when I, the kind of Italian craft beer became more uh, available in the UK for a short period of time, it's not as available as it was, so get onto beers from Italy.com, pick some up. <laughs> um, and um, it was Zach Avery, we were talking about um, Birra del Borgo and Balladine in particular, and he compared um, Birra del Borgo to kind of Sierra Nevada and, and um, Balladine to Doug Michel being a little bit more experimental. But you know what? I think, the, I think Birra del Borgo have always been quite experimental with you. You said quite interesting kind of local ingredients. That's the great thing about Italian craft beer. It's, it's definitely influenced by um, the more kind of renowned beer making um, areas like England and America and Belgium and Germany to a certain degree. Um, but they've always put their own kind of unique twist on it and made it uniquely Italian. There's some really great stuff out there. I mean, I love Italy anyway, so it's just a cherry on the cake. Anyway, let's waffle. Beer in the glass, a real nice kind of pale yellow, slightly orangey, like lemon curd. Not much of a head, just a bit of a, a, bit of a wisp around the outside. Slightly off-white, head with a nice kind of slightly orange hue to it. There you go. Looks nice. So let's check out the aroma. That's nice. I'm going to say, the thing that jumps out to me straight away is um, kind of apricot Danish or like or kind of brioche. It's got that kind of like um, kind of sweetened bread. And definitely a big apricot kind of kick in there. Maybe a hint of, is it um, cantaloupe melon, the weird little round one green with like a slightly kind of scaly edge. It's got, like a, it's got like a sweetness to it. Nice amount of slightly waxy honey. But yeah, that enri enriched dough and apricot really kind of stands out. Smells good, smells really appetizing. Smells kind of like quite summery in a way. So let's dive in, cheers. Wow, I have had this on draft once. This is so different. This is so much better than it was on draft. On draft, it was a bit like a quite a, yeah, kind of um, forgettable um, golden ale, but this is lovely. A real nice kind of like prickle of hot bitterness in there. Mm. That's lovely. That's really taking me by surprise. This is not a Saison, I don't know how Ray Beer are playing it. I mean, this is clearly not a Saison. It's got a real nice crispness to it. it for me, it's closer to a, a really nice American Pale Ale. Mm. Really my kind of beer. Kind of, and it jumps on you straight away. I mean, I, I, there's not much preamble for that flavour to arrive. Slight sweetness, slight kind of peach, and then it really pounces out. Is that bitterness? And it's quite a consistent beer, it's quite a prickly. Um, I'm going to say it's quite a dry, 
the citrus rind, lemon, orange. Yeah, the flavours that are in there, they're not sharp, they're not puckering. The bitterness is quite sharp, but it's really enjoyable. Really my kind of beer, slightly floral, slightly perfumey. But the hot flavour is really well managed, it's really quaffable. And I'm going to say once again, a slightly sweeter orange, um, apricot, peach, kind of nectarines, all that kind of thing. Drops off and the, the kind of lasting aftertaste is more of a, um, yeah, slightly floral, honeysuckle, kind of wildflower. And there's a really kind of, there's a, a, a resonating um, citrus peel bitterness that really lingers. And once again, I'm going to go more kind of um, lime, lemon, orange. You're not going not quite as far as something uh, like grapefruit. But the grapefruit is in the flavour, but it's not in that lasting bitterness. Yeah, yeah, maybe there's a bit of a honey thing going on there, just a little bit more I taste it, more I get that. But it's certainly not a saison. I mean, I'm somebody who trusts trust the kind of information you get on rate beer. This is nowhere near what their, their explanation is. This is really nice, flavoursome American pale ale from all accounts. I think it's lovely. Kind of beer I could drink quite a lot of. And you know what? I'd have loved a 750 of that, that wouldn't have lasted long though. And at 5% 5, uh, 5 ABV, you don't really have to worry about that. That's a real winner. I mean, ton by surprise, and I've tasted it before, and this is completely different. Must be a much fresher bottle than that keg was. So that's a bottle of Bitter Del Borgo's Cottagiana, 5% ABV from, a, uh, from Italy. Get on beersfromitaly.com. Check this out for sure. If you like a, a good American pale ale, I completely, fully endorse going to get in a bottle of this. And yeah, and get on there, pick up some wonderful stuff from Bira del Borgo, Balladine, Bira for Joe Italiano, a few more. As I said, it's a new business. We're all part of this kind of craft beer community. We should be kind of like um, supporting new upcoming businesses. And you know what? Well, the benefit of this is you get to drink really nice. Italian craft beer, which we don't really get the chance to drink most of the time in England. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.